and welcome to the second in my series of weekly podcasts. Today I'd like to focus once more on relaxation and something which will hopefully provide you with a way to sit and relax and get away from the stresses and tensions and anxieties that we are experiencing every day, particularly this difficult time. And this is a technique which I often use with my clients in hypnotherapy, especially if they're coming to me for the first time and they may be a little more a little more anxious. People often experience anxiety in their lives, which is a normal part of life, but it doesn't have to be. And there are ways in which you can relax and hopefully listening to my voice in this guided meditation will help you to get to the peace and quiet and the tranquility that you will need. So I'll begin, but before I do, I would like you to make sure, please, that you are sitting comfortably or lying down so that your head is supported and feeling comfortable. Or just sit or lie down however, however you feel most comfortable. And once you are relaxed and comfortable, you can just let your hands rest very comfortably on your thighs or on your legs or by your sides. And then when your hands are comfortably relaxed, you can just close your eyes and just let your eyes close now. And make them so very comfortably relaxed that they won't bother. They won't bother to open at all. Your eyes will remain very comfortably closed, very comfortably closed indeed, comfortably closed throughout. And I want you to know that you can be aware of all the sounds around you, the sounds inside the room and the sounds outside the room, wherever you may be. And I want you to know that these sounds are unimportant And you can just disregard them in your own way. And you may even find that in a strange and slightly contradictory way, these sounds will help you and can help to take you ever more deeply relaxed. Deeper and deeper relaxed. Now, ever since the day that you were born, You have learned and experienced something every moment of your life. And all of those experiences have been stored away in the back of your mind, so to speak, in the form of mental images. Every second of your life imprinted on your brain cells. A bit like data on a computer, but of course your brain is far, far superior. And I would like you to know that there is a very special and unique part of you, your inner mind, your unconscious mind, which has full and complete access to all of these mental images. And in a few moments time, you will hear me count backwards from 10 to 1. And with each descending number between 10 and 1, you are going to become one tenth more relaxed. 10% more relaxed with each descending number. Each descending number will help you to go one-tenth deeper into that wonderful hypnotic state of relaxation, the trance state, which in any event will become deeper and deeper as we go on. And if, whilst I am counting down, from ten to one, you experience a slight, though very pleasant, physical sensation, as if you were floating 
floating or drifting down perhaps into your own inner world, into that part of yourself that remembers everything that you have ever experienced. And as you begin to pay more and more attention to your inner realities, so you are becoming ever deeper relaxed. And so you are going ever deeper into the trance. Long, long forgotten memories, delightful memories of the past may come your way. Come drifting by. Inner feelings of comfort and ease, long, long forgotten inner feelings of safety and security too. So ready, ten, nine, and deeper and deeper, eight, seven, drifting and floating. Six, sinking comfortably, deeper and deeper. Five, ever deeper relaxed. Four, three, and deeper and deeper still. Two, and all the way down now relaxed and waiting now, pausing for a short while, resting, waiting, and you can wonder where it is that you're going next. And when you hear me count one, you will instantly and immediately find yourself in your favorite safe place of relaxation, a place known only to you, a place where you feel safe, secure, calm, tranquil, in control, and where no one can enter except if you invite them in. And you can come here any time you like, either when you are here with me, or when you are going about your day, as long as it's safe to do so. So, ready, one, step into that safe place, feeling very safe and calm, very secure. Look around. Rest safely for a while. And as you continue to sit there so peacefully, so calm and relaxed, I'd like you to imagine what it would feel like if you could actually fly. If you could soar through the air, free and alive, like a bird. Now you don't have to actually imagine that you have wings and feathers, and you don't have to pretend that you're leaving your body. But as you are so very relaxed right now, imagine how beautifully special you feel now that you actually have the power to fly. And as you prepare to take flight, you might like to spread your arms, or maybe you put your arms above your head like Superman. It doesn't really matter. Just allow yourself to do whatever you feel you need to do to get ready in your own mind to take flight and soar above the world, free, alive and completely at peace with yourself. But before you take flight, however, Please take notice of all of the chains and anchors which are holding you back. 
Notice all of the limiting beliefs and tired thoughts, the old habits of yourself and other people, which have chained you to the ground. And I wonder, can you really feel the weight of these chains, which are preventing you from flying? Can you feel the thick, heavy links which are holding you back from your right to be free? So just take a moment for yourself now and notice the texture of these heavy chains. Are they rough or smooth? What do these tiresome old chains feel like as they bog you down? And I wonder, if they could talk, what would they say? Perhaps they would say, you can't fly. And knowing that misery loves company, they might be saying, stay with us on the ground. But as you look more closely at these binding links, you may be surprised to notice that however strongly However ferociously these chains appear to be holding you down, if you really look really closely, you will notice that it is really you who is holding on to the chains. You are the one holding tightly onto these old habits, these limiting beliefs. You are holding yourself onto the ground. These chains may be forged by the ideas and comments of other people. However, you are the one holding onto them, and to whatever extent that you so strongly desire to live your life free and successful, you will let go of all of these chains and old habits, because you do owe it to yourself. You are your body's keeper. You are responsible, are you not, for your own well-being? your own happiness, your own success, your own freedom. And just as misery loves company, success leads to even more success. And if you look up now, you will notice other people flying and see how happy they look way up there, free from their old habits here on the ground. And you can feel how happy they feel, and you can hear it in their voices, as they laugh way up in the sky, free from all chains. And to whatever extent that you so strongly desire to be free, you will begin now to physically let go of each chain. Simply make the commitment to let go of a limiting belief. Let go of any outdated habits. Let go of the hurts and be free. Let go of the pains and fly. Let go of other people's dramas. Let go of other people's stress and problems and be free. You owe it to yourself to let go of your old ideas. Let go of other people's ideas and bad habits. They only hold you back. And as you begin to let go of the past, you actually begin to notice yourself feeling lighter. And as you have seen this change in other people, you actually walk and stand taller as you let go of the old habits. You feel more confident and strong on your own. Your posture is more proud, proud of your new commitment to yourself to be free. And so I wonder if you can find yourself letting go of more limiting beliefs and notice how good it feels as you let go of the past and embrace yourself. And as you realize now that there is nothing that anyone can say or do to hold you back, you feel so good and so light that you actually begin to float up into the air. And you realize now, for the first time in a long, long time, that when you finally let go, you feel happy, so happy, and so much lighter than air, 
that you begin to smile and feel incredibly good inside, totally at peace, free, because now you are finally alive, alive and free. And you smile and it feels good, so good to let go and fly and be yourself for yourself. And think of all the places that you can fly away to, beautiful places, and you don't have to know where you are going because beautiful people attract other beautiful people. Successful people attract other successful people. Confident people attract other confident people. People who are truly free will attract each other. When you smile, you attract other people who smile. And people who have let go of the past and all limiting chains are free to find each other and fly. And simply just take another moment for yourself now and just enjoy this wondrous and this awesome peaceful feeling, this feeling of flying for a moment. And now notice how good it feels to fly above the world, to fly away from all chains, all chains in the past, to fly away from your old habits, leaving them far behind, to fly away from other people's bad habits, just let them go and fly, simply fly away, free and alive, knowing that you now find yourself smiling more, because you are free. You have made a commitment to yourself, for yourself, to let go and fly and be free to fly. And you deserve to fly and join others like yourself, free, alive, for now, forever. And in a few moments time, I am going to awaken you. But before I awaken you, I would like you to know that as each day goes by, you are going to become a little more mentally calm, a little more clear in your head each day, which means that you are going to be able to think more clearly, to see things more clearly, so that nothing and no one will ever be able to worry you or upset you in quite the same way. Your mind becomes more and more clear, crystal clear, allowing you to feel physically more relaxed too. Not only in your body, but you will feel more relaxed in your mind, more relaxed about yourself and about the world around you. And as the days and weeks and months go by and you become even more calm and clear in your mind, even more relaxed in your body, it will be perfectly natural that you are going to be able to cope better with anything and anybody and any situation that you have to handle in your daily life. And because you are coping more calmly, more and more confidently too, because you have greater self-control, greater control over the way you think, greater control over the way you feel, and greater control over the way you behave, the way you do things every day. You are going to experience a greater feeling of well-being, physical as well as mental well-being, a greater feeling of safety and security too, greater feelings of safety and security and well-being than you have experienced in a long, long time. Altogether, you will feel as if a weight, a burden has been lifted from you, allowing you to live your life in a way that's going to be so much more satisfying to you. And now I'm going to awaken you. In a few moments time, you will hear me count upwards from 1 to 10, and with each ascending number, between 1 and 10, you'll become more awake, more alert, so that by the count of 8, you will open your eyes, and by the count of ten, you'll be fully wide awake, back here with me in the present, all normal sensation returned to every part of you, and every part of you back here with me in the present, 
undertaking its proper function in the proper way, except for the part responsible for any anxiety in the past that remains where it was in the past. And you will be fully awake, feeling fine, with a feeling of well-being all over. You will feel refreshed, rejuvenated, revitalized, feeling better and more optimistic than you have felt in a long, long time. And so I will remind you, you will hear me count upwards from one to ten. With each ascending number between one and ten, you will become more awake, more alert, so that by the count of eight, you will open your eyes and by the count of ten, you'll be wide awake, back here with me in the present, all normal sensation return to every part of you, and every part of you back here with me in the present, undertaking its proper function in its proper place. And you will awaken, feeling fine, rejuvenated, and refreshed, ready to continue with your day, fully wide awake. So ready, one, two, three, waking up, waking up, four, five, six, more and more awake, more and more alert, Seven, eight, open your eyes, open your eyes. Nine, ten, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake. Big stretch, big stretch. And so I hope you enjoyed this meditation and this hypnotherapy podcast for week two in our series. I'll be back next week. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope you feel refreshed, rejuvenated and relaxed. And I'll see you again soon.